discuss about the direct set test of a soil circle. This is the direct set apparatus. The loading assembly. This is for the proving ring. This is called the proving ring. Dial gauge of proving ring. And this is the proving ring capacity, 10 kilo newton. This is the dial gauge. This is the one of the dial gauge. This is called the loading assembly. The load hanger. This is the mechanical assembly and that and this is the horizontal loading assembly. So in this position we have placed the shared box and placed two of dial gauge. One is for the shear displacement and another is for the normal load displacement. And this is the um, loading calculation which calculated by the proving. Now we have to prepare a mold for direct shear test. This is the mold for direct shear test, and this is the this is the split mold, the split mold box for direct shear test. Now we have to prepare the soil in optimum moisture content and mix the soil only, and then fill with the soil to this shear mold. Now assemble the shear box, this is the direct shear box, the base plate are assembled like that. The assembly, the graduated plate are placed. Placed like that, the, ang the angle of the load and this graduated line should be perpendicular then place the then place the um, direct shear mold with the adjustment of screw placing over the mold like that provide a load provide a load through this plate like that and remove that mold the specimen should be like that and then the graduated plate should be like that not the screw Place the head load here like that and that arrangement that arrangement should placed in the direct shared apparatus.
attach here this is the proving ring proving ring reading should be zero so this is for the vertical loading normal to the sample the loading assembly are placed here the ball the ball are placed get the head load and point load again and place the loading assembly here for point load to that sample and a loading got placed if i get the sample this way the the vertical loading dial got should be as the assembly for the shear deflection and this reading should be initial reading should be zero this is the uh, uh, normal deflection and now let's start the And then the reading should be taken. The diagonal reading should be taken at a respective, at a respective. Okay. Then from this reading, then we calculate the shear strength parameters for direct shear. 